About two weeks before Election Day comes a troubling attack in Los Angeles. A ballot box was set on fire over the weekend, burning dozens of ballots. Law enforcement now stepping up efforts to safeguard mail-in voting sites around the country. Senior correspondent Eric Sean live for us in New York on this. And Eric, what do we know exactly? Yeah, good morning, Trace. There is now an arson investigation underway in Los Angeles after someone apparently set fire to a ballot box there. One of the state's official boxes where voters can pop in their vote was left smoldering overnight after it was destroyed by a fire on Sunday in the Baldwin Park neighborhood of Los Angeles. Officials say up to 100 ballots inside were blackened and charred. That attack comes after elections officials decided to allow the state Republican Party to place GOP ballot boxes on the streets. This is apparently not one of them. Investigators say someone lit a newspaper and threw it into the slot of the drop box and burned the ballots. They are sending new ballots to those voters whose votes, though, were destroyed. The recorder has determined um, whose ballot was actually in this uh, drop box that was damaged, and they are immediately resending everyone uh, a new ballot for them to fill out and try again. That means those votes will be saved. Meanwhile, in Pennsylvania, the U.S. attorney there promises to crack down on anyone who tries to interfere with voting. If you burn things, if you destroy property, if you threaten people, if you attack police officers, we are going to crack down on you as hard as we can. Well, this comes as the U.S. Supreme Court has handed a win for Democrats in that state rejecting a Republican move to stop counting absentee ballots that arrive after Election Day. Chief Justice John Roberts siding with the court's liberal wing. This means that absentee ballots will be accepted there for three days after November 3rd, but they must be postmarked by that date. In Nevada, the U.S. attorney has created the role of a, quote, district election officer. It's mission to investigate any election issues in that swing state where early voting kicked off over this weekend. And meanwhile, in Memphis, Tennessee, a poll worker has been fired there after turning away early voters who are wearing Black Lives Matter and I Can't Breathe t-shirts. Under state law, it is specific that a candidate or political party slogan is not allowed on a shirt or being shown at a voting site. But officials there say general statements, even like those, are acceptable, and that poll worker has been let go. Trace? Eric Sean, live for us in New York. Eric, thank you.